Hi guys, I'm Jesse at Stropro.com and today I'm going to be showing you the Stropro 88 inch Parawing umbrella. This is an umbrella that's designed to save space but direct light just like a parabolic softbox would. Let's take a look what's inside. Every Parawing is going to include this sleeve so it's great for traveling and transporting this so it's not going to get filthy and kind of flop all over the place. And this is going to be very similar to setting up a regular umbrella. We've got our standard slide lock, but you're going to notice a couple unique things about this. And the biggest thing is that it is going to fold in half. And we are saving a lot of space because we have 88 inches here. So basically the umbrella is folded in half and then is going to open here like this. So just like a regular umbrella, we would just slide this in. It's going to lock in and now we're ready to put it on the strobe. So now that we have it set up, you can kind of see this unique shape. It's kind of a curve around there, which gives it its para for the parabolic shape. Obviously to be true parabolic, it has to be a complete circle, but it is mimicking those properties. And what this allows us to do is kind of focus that light beam. So unlike a normal umbrella that is just going to project light out absolutely everywhere, this focuses us down a little bit more. The other nice thing about this is that it's saving a ton of space. So if you're working in a tight studio and you don't have room for a big, deep soft box, but you want that same kind of quality look, this is going to be a great option for you. Um, and again, we have this uh, two in one as well, so we can actually unpin the top cover here. So right now we have it in bounce back mode, but if we take that cover off, it's going to be a shoot through as well. So let's just add it to the strobe and show you how easy it is. So we've got two ways to mount this and I'm going to mount it to this uh, 300 strobe here. Now you can use a reflector, but you don't have to. I'm going to show it with and without. Um, what the reflector is going to allow you to do is pull the, re the umbrella a little bit further away from the actual flash tube. And if you're using it without the reflector, you're going to have to pull it a little bit tighter or else you're going to lose a little bit of spill at the side. So what we want to do is make sure that our umbrella cutout is lined up with the umbrella mount on the actual strobe and then we're just going to find that hole and then slide that into the mount and this is a heavier umbrella obviously just because it's 88 inches so we've got some weight to it but we're just going to slide that in there um, find a position that we want and then just use the tilt here and we can lock that in so from there what we can do is we can adjust the slide in or out. So from here, obviously we're going to be catching all the sides, but if we're using it without the reflector, it's just as easy. So we would just pull this out and I'm going to pop off the reflector here. And we're just going to basically do the same thing, but we don't have the umbrella hole to go through. So we're just going to line up there. And if we're not using the reflector, you're going to need to use it a lot closer because otherwise we're going to lose a lot of spill out the side. But I just wanted to show you both methods because you don't have to have the reflector if you don't want it there. With the reflector on, you're going to get a little bit more control because you are able to basically zoom this in. So the tighter we go, the more direct beam we're going to get. Or if we back it up, um, the softer that's going to be. So that is one of the advantages of using the reflector. Um, but again, you can experiment with that and just decide for yourself how you like to use it. So one of the great things about this para wing is that it is a two in one. So two in one simply meaning either we use it as a bounce as it is right now, or we can use it as a shoot through as well. Now to use it as a shoot through, we need to remove the cover and that's done very easily. We have these metal tips on all of the umbrella rods here. And basically, if you just grab the umbrella rod and then you're just going to pull that back and it's going to release off the top there. And you would just go around and do that on each tip. And eventually this whole cover is just going to come right off and then we've got our shoot through. To put it back on, it's just as easy. I recommend if you have it in the vertical position here, flip it around horizontally because it's going to be easier to keep the top cover on and prevent it from dropping down. Um, but you just go and do the exact same thing, line those up and put them on just like that and you can convert it back to the bounce. Another nice thing about this umbrella is that it's using fiberglass rods. So this is going to be really durable if you're using it out in the wind at all. 
they provide a little bit more flex so you can see right here you're not going to damage those near as easy as you would with uh, an aluminum rod so having the flexibility of those rods is definitely going to make this umbrella last a lot longer to put the para wing away it's really easy uh, we have a button over here and it's right by my thumb there and we have a little bit of play so you never want to just go to an umbrella push the button and pop it out you're going to catch your hand uh, in there and it's harder on the umbrella so what I want to do push it forward a little bit push the button which is the release here it's going to release and just slide it back down and it's going to fold into itself and then the best thing to do to fit it back in the case is start at the bottom and just give it a twist here so as you twist it's going to get tighter and then you can just slide it into the carrying bag right there <laughs> the carrying case right there <laughs> and all you're going to do is just slide that in and when it's all kind of bulky up there just give it another twist and it's going to drop right into the pack so i mentioned space savings before let me show you what i mean normally a parabolic softbox is quite deep and it's stuck onto the front of your light and protrudes outwards like that with this para wing umbrella we're saving a lot of space because we can elevate it if we wanted to push it up out of the way we're bouncing into it and the lights coming back whereas a softbox you're having to shoot directly through so that softbox would be protruding into the scene rather than going away with it with an umbrella so that's a really nice feature um, we can also duck down so if i had this elevated and i wanted to shoot somewhere down here i can duck down and normally uh, an umbrella is going to have obviously this piece in here still but we have the sides cut out of that so that's really useful we can just duck down get out of the way elevate it easily or we can position this horizontally horizontally like it is right now or we can go vertically as well so it's really easy to go vertical just rotate it around we can push that tight against the wall and again we're just saving extra space there and in a small studio space is everything there you have it guys the Stro Pro 88 inch para wing it's really compact for what it is you're getting this huge light modifier but it still fits down it's easy to travel with not taking up a ton of space but we're getting parabolic effects like this where it's wrapping around so we can do great rim light shots or we can still flip it horizontal elevate it duck down and still be able to get our shot with the light going right over us without getting into the way so I think this is a really nice modifier. It's definitely unique. If you work in a small studio space, you definitely want to check this out because the space savings alone are going to be a lifesaver for you. So check it out at strobepro.com. And until next time, I'm Jesse.